<laughs> That's me. Hey, what's up guys? Nicholas Marsink here, and if you've been following gaming news, you're seeing this word be fling around everywhere, Smack Zero. But what is a Smack Zero? Well, Smack Zero is a Steam OS operated handheld device that allows you to play over 1,000 games in the library of Steam today. Hmm, interesting. A handheld device that promises console quality on the go. Never heard that one before. All right, so let's address the elephant here, Smack Zero. That is a weird, weird name. Well, the Smack Zero device is not made by Valve, so it is not an official Steam product. It's actually made by a company named, well, you guessed it, Smack, and the device is called Zero. Therefore, it's called Smack Zero. Now, the reason why this is getting so much news is because this is actually official, and it's been here for a very, very long time. In fact, this project has been here for years, and previously was called Steam Boy. But as you can see, Steam Boy sounds like another thing. Game Boy, maybe? Now, another really cool thing is that the company Smack wants to make sure that this controller looks very, very reminiscent to Steam's controller. If you're looking at the controller and the system side by side, you'll see it got a lot of inspiration from the controller itself. And the reason for this is when the Steam consoles come out, you want to feel right at home when you pick up the Smack Zero and you take it to your car. Now, if you want to put this in perspective, it kind of looks like a PlayStation Vita fused with the Steam controller. It has two touchpads, dual analog sticks, and seven buttons in the front. Unlike the PlayStation Vita, though, you actually have six buttons on the rear, so it's going to feel just like the controller, where the PlayStation Vita was kind of missing the L2 and R2 buttons. Now, for starters, it has 4 gigabytes of RAM, which means it's able to run Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 10. It has 32 gigabytes internal memory and has an SD card slot. The screen is 5 inches and it's HD 720p resolution. And if you want to plug this bad boy into your television, you can because it has an HDMI out connection. Wi-Fi, 4G, Bluetooth, and it's powered by an AMD Jaguar chip. Now this bad boy sounds pretty promising, but you have to remember PC games are pretty graphic intensive. So hopefully the Jaguar system can handle its own. Now the device will come out November 10th, 2016 and will only cost you 300 bucks, which was actually the cost of the PlayStation Vita 3G model. Now this device sounds pretty cool. Hopefully it comes out, hopefully it delivers, but I'm gonna make sure that I keep my eyes on it. If you want any more news about the Smack Zero, keep it here. Thanks for watching guys and catch you on the next one.